Okay, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Braxton and Micah show. Mm. That's what we're going to call it for now. Is that what we are? Yeah, but we're going to let them decide what we should call our show. Oh. And do not call us two messy queens because we're not. No, we're not two messy queens. You're right. We're one. (laughs) (laughs) And that's me. I'm not messy. I just tell it like it is. Oh, okay. Like Nene say, (laughs) bitch. Mess with me. I thought want. we were gonna discuss what we were gonna talk about before we started filming. Oh, Taste your mind. Okay. Cool. So, what's coming up, girl? Well, we do have Black America coming up. Um, Sweetheart comes before that. We already talked about the chef. We have our trip this weekend. I think um, Darion is doing Sweetheart. Um, and Neo. Mm-hmm gonna be interesting i'm glad it's one night because if it was more than one night i would not attend i'm sorry <sighs> it's, it's just you know it's just one of those pageants that you should just have one night you know okay i'm thinking about the next subject now oh um, you know what i won't talk about that one anymore you want to talk about sweetheart uh-huh. mm. hey stasha congratulations <laughs> Yes, definitely. Congratulations on your new title as Miss Ebony International 2011-2012. And Sergio, congratulations. I'll be judging his um, pageant in March. Oh, he has one of those? Yes. He... What pageant is that? Um, Tri-County. You had to think about it, huh? You know, so many pageants. You know, I, I had to right. think about it. But Tri-County. Yeah, you judge so many, girl. I know it's Not funny. anymore, you I'll know. the ones that you're judging. Yeah, because I read them so bad. Not the contestants, the oh, owners. So, oh. you know, I guess they're kind of scared, girl, that I'm just going to. I don't tear the contestants up because the contestants are just, they're just doing the pageant. I hate um, going to pageants and, or knowing someone that's in a pageant and you have this panel of judges, whether it's five, six, or seven, however many you want to have on the panel, and they don't know how to score. They don't even know how to put proper comments. I mean, how do you expect these newcomers to groom themselves or to um, really prepare differently the next time they do a pageant if you're not really putting proper comments on a page? Like, I was ta- uh, tabulating this pageant. I won't say the name of it. I actually like the newcomer division. Don't care for the national. Yeah, I said it again. Um, but, like, there was a queen... Well, there was a former national title holder that was on the panel and every time we got her score sheets like she didn't say much to the contestant so how does the contestant you giving them a 15 but you don't really tell them what they need to improve on or give them any type of advice you know for the next so do you guys have some type of handbook that you go by or is this like freelance judging no there is there is. an actual point system that's in place that you can say um well this point is justified. This is not justified. Definitely. Okay. Do you guys get that rule book before you get to sit on the panel? Yes. They're supposed to. Like the promoters and the owners of the system are supposed to actually sit down with the panel of judges and advise them on what they're looking for. You know. Did they do that at that pageant? Well, I wasn't a judge. I was a tabulator. Oh. So I just had to make sure that the scores were consistent, oh. and some of them were not. So therefore, we handed the score back to that young lady and said, "Ma'am, could you please correct this?" I'm not saying, uh, what is it, erase your score and put what we want, but at least have some um, validity to what you're putting on this piece of paper. I mean, if you're saying a 15, then why did this girl get a 15 out of 20? That's all. So I'm tired of people not knowing how to judge. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, do not put people on your panel do not, that do not know how to judge. Just because you are a former this, that, and the other thing does not mean that you can judge a pageant. Because people look at me and they look at a lot of other judges and say, well, how does she get to be on a panel? She's never judged. Or she's never been in a pageant before. Baby, if you go to Continental, if you go to USA, if you go to Black Universe and Black America, there are people on that panel that have never been in the pageants. We have a conference call at 10 minutes? No, that's old. Oh. Yeah. It's about I, to be so over that. The conference call? Yeah. Oh, you want to do the conference call no more? No, not that I don't want to do one. I just don't think one is necessary today because we have a meeting tomorrow. Oh, no, that that was for Wednesday. I ended up putting Thursday. My bad. No problem. Hmm. 
so yeah, so yeah, they they do have a, a point system or a scoring system, and you know, I hate when you see a girl with something's wrong with her zipper or him is incorrect, but you want to put two and three points off, but baby, that's really only one point. So let's talk about something interesting. So oh, Micah interesting. and I um, entertained a Facebook status a few days ago that someone posted, um, basically stating that she, a transgendered woman, felt as though she was not necessarily a part of the quote-unquote gay community or that we actually, as gay homosexual males, um, exclude transgendered women from the actual quote-unquote gay community. Um, what was your, your take on that conversation, Micah? I had a lot to say. If you go back to that post, you'll see I wrote paragraphs. Yeah, a lot of definitions. A lot of definitions. Um, I think that certain transsexuals, excuse me, or transgender women are a part of our community and some are not. It just really depends upon the um, the life that they chose as far as living in our society, in our community, and being active. Or if they decided to live, oh, you're sleepy. Or decided to live, you know, in or live a heterosexual lifestyle, so it really depends. But for the young lady who I love um, as an entertainer, and who I appreciate and respect as an entertainer, I definitely feel that she is a part of um, our community, and she should, you know, be accepted. And I'm sorry if she feels as though she, that she's not accepted or people don't see her as, because for her to be an entertainer within our community, she is definitely a part of it, a value asset to our community. Those are my thoughts. I concur. Um, That's all he had to say? And he brought up the topic? Because I know you would, you know, talk about it and elaborate it, but it might be interesting for the public to hear your opinion on that. Mm. What other subjects would you like to discuss tonight? I think I'm running out of things to say. Hmm. Tops, bottoms, and versatiles. Hmm. Love that subject. Never can get enough of it. Some people think that there should be one or the other. And they think that pe versatile people are confused. How do you feel? Um, I'm not confused. <laughs> I, I didn't ask if you were confused. I asked, how do you feel about there being tops, bottoms, and verse? Do you feel like that's possible? Oh, it's very possible because you have some people that only want to top. You have some people that only want to be plunged or be a bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know how they call Such it. That's taboo. Um, well, we keep it real on the Braxton Micah show. Oh, okay. So I'm going to need yeah. you to keep it real. I, I haven't Stop said all anything. the political bullshit, baby. Look, I haven't said anything unreal yet. Um, but yeah, so I think that, you know, there are tops, there are bottoms, and there are, there are people that like both. Um, and then they come up with this, oh, I'm a versatile top, or I'm a versatile bottom. Baby, you are top, bottom, or versatile. Pick one. And when you get with that man, make sure that he's comparable to what you are. So if you're a bottom, really don't watch this, honey. get with a top. If you're a top, get with a bottom. If you're versatile, get with someone who's versatile. Yeah, I think that it's very important that versatile homosexuals do get into relationships with other versatile homosexuals so that you don't get into those sexual arguments when that person that's used to being a bottom all the time doesn't want to be a top or can't get hard to top you. Girl, you knew that shit when you started. Let that girl get plunged by a real top. You go find you old verse, little piece of fish, and y'all, you know, fuck each other. I'm glad you brought that up, and you don't even realize that you brought it up. Hmm. These open relationships. Hmm. I know of a few people. Yes, I know of several people. How it is? The tea, and girl. and not of them are personal, <laughs> you know, because they may not even know me by name, only but Facebook, and that's not even my real name, dummies. But... I know of a few that have the open relationships, and at first when I came out, you know, 10 years ago, I didn't understand the whole open relationship, and now I understand it. I'm not going to say that I really respect it, I guess, but I understand, you know, that they have a love for one another, um, but at the same time, you know, you may have two tops that are together, you may have two bobs that are, that are together, and they're willing to incorporate someone else within their relationship as far as the bedroom is concerned. Now, I understand that because that's the sexual part of it, but you don't have any type of emotional attraction to these individuals that you're bringing into your bedroom. But what I do have a problem with is that when you're in a relationship 
And both of you are actually out there actively pursuing other people. You in this room and this person over here in another state in this room. Yeah, I like it. It yeah, well, whatever. Maybe if you weren't together, that would be kinky. Y'all were just dating, you know, but maybe y'all together. So I don't understand it. I'm not reading or getting down on you know, talking down about whatever they're doing. I mean, you know, we, we don't understand. Sometimes I don't understand why people put um ketchup on their eggs, but you know, hey, people why do, do I it. Keep yawning. Oh my god. I, just I guess you're nap. tired. I don't know. What's going maybe on? that was a quick one and you were snoring and everything. Good to me. I'm sure it did. Is that why you change. got up and left? No. <laughs> I woke up and you disappeared. That's not. But yeah, so so what do you think about the whole open relationships? And would you even consider being in an open relationship? My take on open relationships is my whole thing is to each his own. If that's something that you enjoy, it's something that you and your spouse both agree with, mm-hmm. then have it. Um, now, as long as you both agree with that and you're both comfortable with it and you are acceptable to the consequences and repercussions of having that type of relationship um sometimes with these open relationships people get feelings and that third party you know may have more feelings for one person in the relationship than the other and with three people there never can be a equal relationship period mm-hmm. point blank when there are three parties even if it's per se a three best friend kind of deal there's always going to be two people in that relationship that are going to be closer than that one person. Exactly. It's not possible for you to have the same exact feelings for two individuals. So I think that it's really important that you do just really understand the consequences of putting yourself in that type of situation. And for you third wheelers, you need to really understand what you're putting yourself in the middle of. Now, as far as myself, uh, I don't think that I could do an open relationship just because I'm very jealous by nature and that and nothing that's crawling it out. So, no, I don't think I would do that. Would you? Oh, no. Hell no. Never. I will never say never. Never. I don't see it happening. Now, nah, if we're... No, I'm not going to say that on this on this thing. I don't want nobody inboxing me. Oh. <sighs> do people inbox you often about certain things that you say on Facebook? Mm, I'm sort of, I don't know. But anyway, what was I about to say? I don't know. Better do it in the next two minutes. Am I going to get my eyebrows done before I leave? Is that what you want to talk about? Maybe I need to leave them alone before we go. Why don't you ask the public? Tell them to vote on it. Baby, don't y'all vote on shit. Eyebrows done or eyebrows not done for Micah? I'm going to go to MAC and I'm going to get my little powder. But I'm not gonna be looking like looking like y'all scary queens out there. That is real, real dark and drawn on. I'm just gonna touch them up a little bit. Oh. What you think about that? Once again, ask the public, let them vote, and I'm sure they'll be able to come up with an answer for you. You remember that girl did that on um, <laughs> what was her name on RuPaul's Drag Race? What girl? On the reunion show, and RuPaul was saying, "You gotta own it. You gotta." And she was like, "Hmm." <laughs> you remember that? No, don't Tammy. Remember. remember Tammy? The kooky one? Don't remember Tammy. Y'all girls who follow Drag's Race, y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all remember this look? Remember that? We could have talked about Drag Race. You know, they do have a new season. Damn, we sure could have. We got a couple a minutes. So, one of my older sisters, Mariah. Love Mariah. Love you, girl. You're fish down. But you let you don't let them hoes get your ass together twice in that room. So I'm gonna need you on the third episode, whether you leave or you stay, bitch, get one of them bitches together in the back. Cause they've been booking your ass. I love you. You still fish though, honey. They can't take that. Can't wait to interview you, girl. Can't, can't take that from you, baby. You just fish, honey. You and that fish. bitch said, Ooh, she like a tranny, bitch. Yeah, I look like a tranny, but I don't I don't have no facial work, bitch. That's what you should have said. Catch them coins. Bitch, we gone. Hope you like. Peace out, bitches. Go fuck yourselves tonight. Bye, Kenya. Bye, Mama Raquel. What's your day name? Al. (laughs) Bye, Mr. Ferguson. (laughs) I sound like a teacher, girl. He's a good teacher.